Hello, I am V. Welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing the threads of fate. Ah, these are just lovely. Look how shimmery they are. Oh my goodness. Thank you, my father figure, for this beautiful, fancy, precious, good feeling deck. Oh my gosh, it feels really, really good. I don't even know how to explain this. It has like a velvety... I, I can't, I can't, I can't make sense of this. It always almost feels like like satin and paper. Velvet, satin, and paper, if that makes sense. Maybe not satin, no, I would say like velvet. Look at the edges, look at the trimming. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, let's get into this. It comes with this handy dandy pocket book. Look how cute and small it is. So this was created by Brit and Blair. Blair and Brit. We have the index here, so if you ever wanna look, look up your words, you can just, um, you know, look up your cards so you can just go to the page and everything's in order alphabetical order so but the cards are separated in suits so we have the 55 cards 32 elemental cards broken up into four suits we have earth air fire water in the booklet you can find each of these cards um you can find each of these cards has an overall message as well as an associated herb crystal and animal there are an additional 23 ether cards or ether cards, persona, archetypal, as well as larger concepts. So each card was created intuitively. These illustrations were channeled. The digital art layers behind the illustrations were made as a reflection of the many mes messages it holds. The many messages it holds. So we have a nice um, layout of meanings and it's yeah, separated by the suits, earth, air, and the suits. So for the Magi, I, so look, we have compassion and then we have the meaning. We have the animal for it, deer. We have the bleeding heart. So on each card, you'll see like different elements and they break it down for you. What this element means, the crystal, the animal. Um, so I like that, I like that we kind of explain everything thoroughly everything that you see in the art. So I will have the link to where you can find this on Etsy. I like this book, this, I'm sorry, this box. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty, look at that. What happens if I reverse it? Oh, okay, you get the same thing, little hole here. I just love it. Pink, purple and gold, they just go so well together. The threads of fate, so shimmery. All right, let's get into this, shall we, shall we? So I will shuffle and I will do a spread, I'm sorry, a reading for the two creators. So let's get into this, the Magi. I love the hands, look at the hands, the backing. Oh my gosh, two hands coming together, weaving. Kind of reminds me of like Cat's Cradle. Thank you, my father figure, for these beautiful cards. I just love the coloring. It's like purples and blues and the golden shimmer. So elegant and pretty. And I like, you know what I like about these cards too? A lot of handy, handy movements. <laughs> the hands are doing something different. And some of the cards, you know, it's just so, it's just so creative. I like it. I'm all about my hands, so I'm like, ah. I feel like I'm whipping up magic with my hands, movements. Um, and the other thing I like about the cards is that they have different color schemes. You have like the dark blues, we have the indigo or plum, the magentas. So, you know, they're matching, but they also have different, you know, hues of purple and blues. So I just, I don't know, it just adds variety. I love color. And the other thing I like, yes, golden, gold edges, but no, I like the border. I like that there's just a little golden shimmer of a border. It's not like a thick, thick black or thick white or thick gold border border that takes away or, you know, kind of drowns out the image or yeah, it kind of like hides the, the, the bigger image. 
it's just like a little elegant hint of gold trimming and you still have color back here so it doesn't the border doesn't take away from the big picture you know what i'm saying so some cards they kind of squish or some decks they squish their art and then they you know in the center and then they put this thick fat border around it you're like no but i want to see more especially if the cards are skinny all right so let, let me um the secret look at that hand movement long nails love it let me compare the size between you know the traditional tarot and this deck so they're like the same same um length but the width is just you know a little bigger so they're easy to shuffle i love i love how they shuffle and it does come with instructions on how to take care for your cards it comes oh my gosh here i forgot to show you this i'll show you this towards the end i don't want to interrupt Oh my gosh, I love this. I love that it's green, first of all. Release. Oh my goodness, that frog. We're seeing a lot of frogs these days, so the fact that there's a frog in this, beautiful. Toads and frogs, I gotta say. Look at this one. This is like so folly. Fall, autumn -y. a leaf with roots and just... I can't even explain what's happening here. All I know is that this is just beautiful. Look, a moon. You see a lot of the moon in here. Love. Look at that. A heart. Two hands holding a big heart. Sacred sexuality. Take risks. Or take a risk. Take risk. Ancestors. Oh my gosh, look at this. If you look at it clearly, she is rooted. She is one, she's like a tree. She's rooted. Her feet are roots. That is so clever. And even her hair. Look at her hair. Her hair is like tree tree leaves. She that's a tree. Tree woman. Earth mother earth. Transmute. Connection to heart. Oh my gosh. Look two dogs. Two dogs, really? Two dogs head to head. Trying Connecting to heart, coming together. Maybe they're twins. Compassion. Oh my gosh! Look at this one. Play. I feel like we're out in this, in, in out in the ocean swimming, and then we have the stars, shooting stars, and we have, we can see planets in the sky. It's just oh, it's just so pretty. So this, these are dolphins, and it says play. Revolutionary. Killer. The outlaw. Man, these feel great. Get curious. And I love the messages. They're just fun. They're fun. You can do so much with the messages. You know, let alone the images. The images alone, that's it. You can do so much by looking at one little thing on the, each card. But then you have message, you know, which is like a little boost. It's like, oh, yes, I can incorporate that word into my reading, you know? So... I like to, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful one. I like to go based on my intuition when I use cards um, for the most part. And then I, I'm like, oh yes, look at this word. This, this fits in perfectly or, you know, it just flows, you know. Sometimes it doesn't, depends on my message. But um, I just stick with the image itself and it just works out beautifully either way. You get to see other people's interpretation, you know, to their, to their own cards and then you get to run with the imagery yourself and sometimes they coincide sometimes they're in sync or maybe sometimes one word will spark so much in your with you you're like oh yes and it unlocks like a key unlocking an answer just like the image the image unlocks an answer Look at this one. Oh my, that one is so beautiful, first of all. Look at that. Is that like a jaguar or a wild, some, some wild cat? Either cheetah, jaguar. Look at this one, soul work. I love the little honey combs. That's so pretty. I love that. Some of them are colored in, some, some of them are not. Dare to dream. So, I, you know, 
they're not in order because I shuffled them like crazy. I bond with them. I do, you know, a little chant. I cleanse them with my essential oils and put, pour my intuition or pour my energy. And I just pour my good vibes into it and just trying to connect with them. And then I bond with my cards. I try, you know, I ask my cards questions to get a feel of them. And yeah, and then I, I would use them and you know in my readings and then do a review man these are beautiful oh my goodness so there is yeah instruction on how to care for your cards so first of all look at this two little stones here we have zenbabestore.com i'm sorry zenbabes zenbabestore and then we have that's for um i think instagram and then we have zenbabe.etsy.com in a cute little drawstring pouch it's so sweet and then we have their logo. Oh my gosh. Such a nice touch. It's like, oh, I can put this in like a little silver knee or beautiful. We have a sticker here, Zen Babe. We have, um, I'm gonna put that in my scrapbook actually. Thank you for your order. It says, we hope you enjoy our products as much as we do making them. We would love to see your photos on Instagram at Zen Babe, at Zen Babe. To show appreciation, here is your 10% discount code. All right, and then we have caring for your deck. We recommend keeping your cards in their box or in a silk bag. Do not shuffle the way you would a deck of playing cards. Yeah, that's true. Try to avoid getting them wet. So, okay, so you get your, 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 your care, your care um, card, you know, how to care for them. Oh, I just love, I love this deck. Man, and I got to bond with them, so thank goodness for bonding with them. So, all right, I'm gonna shuffle this deck for the lovely Zen Babes as a team, as a team. So I can, I know this is a long video. As a team. So this is for you. Thank you so much, my father figure, for thinking of me, for gifting me this beautiful, beautiful masterpiece here. I have to say it's so lovely. And I know we're gonna be best friends. I know it, I know it. So I'm going to pull a reading. So I'm gonna have the shop linked below. Check out the shop to where you can find this. That's a good card as far as Blair and Britt goes. Please help me find a card. Thank you so much, so much. Card for Blair and Britt. All right, destruction, wow. Do we need to tear something apart and rebuild? Do we need to start fresh with something? Maybe scrap scrap a project and start fresh, start, start from ground up? Do we need to, you know, um, shake the, the tree and see where apples fall or, or let that tower come crashing down and rebuild something um, that's gonna be more stable. Do yeah, scrap something in your life. Um, maybe push things that are not serving you to, uh, to, the, to the side. Because um, we don't want destruction, we want stability. We want something that's gonna last. So I don't know if, if you, maybe you're, you're thinking about creating a project and you, maybe it's not coming, it's not panning out the way you, you'd hoped. Or maybe you're both, um, let's see, I don't know if you, you know how some, some business partners, some friendships, they kind of go through their, their hiccups, their ups and downs, they can't see eye to eye on things. So um, destruction, we need to come together. We need to come together. Okay, so what do we need to work on? Brit and Blair. I'm, I'm just taking a, a, a guess because I don't really know you guys very well. So I'm just seeing what the, this card means to me. Maybe you guys need to come together. Maybe something is separating you. Maybe you're not on the same page with something. Or maybe both of you are not on the same page with things coming into your life individually. Maybe you guys aren't um, able to find time to do the things you want to do and things are falling apart. Um, something coming apart in your life. All right, so that's what I have. It can be an individual thing or it can be you as a team. So that's just, you know, what, what I'm getting. I can be totally off. Everyone has their own um, interpretation for the cards. So, all right, so Brit and Brit and Blair, how can we, what can we do to fix this? Please clarify, please clarify this destruction card. Please clarify this destruction card. Please clarify this destruction card. 
please clarify this destruction card. All right, so I clarified the destruction card and I got get creative. So maybe I think you need to scrap something and get super creative and create something new. Wow, I can't believe this came out. Knock, it's like you playing with Legos. Knock it down and then build it back up again. But do it better this time. Do it a right way. Do it, don't go half, you know, half in. Go whole, go in the all the way, not just halfway. Don't put your little toe in there. Put your whole foot in there. Um, so I can't believe that. Taking something apart and then building it back up. Building that foundation stronger, making it stronger. All right, so that's what I get for you both. As a team, this is what I get. Um, let me know if this makes sense at all. If you guys don't see eye to eye, what may come. So get creative, maybe keep working together, seeing eye to eye. Um, communicate, communication is key. Um, yeah, because if you're building your Lego on this side a certain way and your friend is building it a, another way, it might just come toppling over. So you guys have to be on the same page, figure out what, how you should both, how you should both build it so that it's symmetrical on this side and this side so that it comes together strong and that makes sense to you okay i hope it does all right so i'm v you have a lovely day i have deck reviews in my playlist so check those out this is gonna go right in there and the link to where you can find this beautiful lovely fancy oh beautiful deck will be linked below thank you so much again my father figure thank you thank you thank you I'm V, and I'll see you next time.